So I'm about ready to start working on the molding that goes along the bottom edge of the uh, the chest and uh, what we have here is a practice piece that I did in uh, soft maple. It's uh, This one's an inch by seven eighths and of course it follows the, the curved pattern along the front. And uh, it's not high enough. Um, it probably should be an inch and a sixteenth or even an inch and an eighth. I took a look at it. So what I had, the way I made it, of course it was all one large board and then I after making the molding I ripped off uh, the uh, the back edge here so uh, here's our template uh, that was used for the bottom and uh, all the drawer blades and and so forth so uh, I took that and uh, traced it onto a, a board this is an inch and an eighth piece of cherry and uh, you can see here the the markings uh, so this is seven eighths of an inch wide and the board is an inch and an eighth thick and uh, so I have the front mark on here as well as the back because uh, it's easier to mark now while the board is square so I'll cut it out on the bandsaw and then um, smooth it over so that I, I've got a good edge a uh, nice smooth edge and I'll do that the way uh, with the uh, flush trim bit and the uh, template that I have and um, then uh, we'll start to uh, make multiple passes on the, the router to uh, hollow out the uh, the curve on the front uh, here so uh, we'll pick it up then I'll, I'll show you well I'm getting ready to uh, flush trim this piece of molding uh, later I'll rip it off but uh, you know, we got an inch and an eighth here, and I cut it out on the bandsaw, so I left a little extra. So then I took my uh, template that I had and uh, screwed it to the, the bottom. The screws, of course, in the waist portion. So uh, we've got something nice and smooth here that the, the bit can follow. So you got a flush trim bit uh, here in the router that's. I think that's about an inch and a half, but the roller, of course, is down there. So, uh, I'm just going to push it along there and uh, trim it off. So, uh, nice and flush there, so now we're ready to do make the next step with the, the molding. There's a first pass with the core box bit, and then I'll just keep uh, raising it uh, until I get it to the correct height. So I've had like six passes uh, on the taking a little off each time, but you can see I'm getting close to my line there, which is where I want to stop uh, for this particular molding shape. So one or two more passes to sneak up on the line. So there you have it. I've got my 316s on the bottom, and uh, so now I've got to change out the bits, and uh, I'll be using a rabbiting bit uh, to add my 316 step to the top. So I made a pass here with the uh, rabbiting bit and you can see there's a 316 by 8th inch rabbit along the top edge. So uh, now all I do is got to cut it out on the bandsaw on the back line and then uh, flush uh, trim it uh, probably with a spindle sander uh, since I don't have a template that uh, could hold it to use the flush trim bit on the back so um, we'll trim it to the line then but I'll, when band sawing it I'll leave a little extra well there you have it um, looks uh, pretty good to me let's see if we can keep it in focus but it's a nice uh, nice fit uh, along that line and um, you know we got a little extra on the corners here for mitering so now I gotta make the straight pieces but um, I'll just be able to rip them off uh, the same uh, size so uh, this was the most difficult piece so uh, need two pieces of straight molding to run along the back or the two sides I made uh, twice as much straight molding as uh, I would need uh, 
But I figured since I was doing it and I had the board there, uh, I just ran it across there. So I've got uh, quite a bit of the uh, straight molding. So uh, that'll allow me to mess up at least the sides a little bit. So now I, I need a half inch piece that goes underneath the molding that uh, the molding rests on. So uh, that's the next step. There it is with the uh, half inch uh, piece of molding underneath uh, that sticking out. It, the molding sticks out an inch and uh, seven eighths of an inch molding sits on top of it and does the transition from the flat to the uh, edge there. there. So it's an eighth of an inch set back. So, uh, and then of course the feet, the bracket feet then go uh, underneath that piece. So uh, beginning to um, put it together here, um, obviously the corners have to be mitered and uh, um, that's pretty much uh, how it's going to look. Um, so the next step is to miter the corners. So I mitered the uh, corners on the molding that goes along the bottom. It's a half inch uh, thick and uh, I cut the miters on my uh, chop saw after making sure that they the saw was set at a 45 and then um, I cut a groove in the back to put a spline in and then uh, glued it together here so I'm waiting for it to uh, to dry uh, right now and then this uh, only protrudes an inch all the way around the uh, um, around the bottom of the chest so uh, a large part of that is all hidden so uh, once that's dry then we'll uh, put it to the bottom of the chest well I've decided to attach the molding uh, to the bottom so I'm using uh, a number 10 screw here as you can see there's a number of screws across the top rail and then one along the bottom but I'll elongate the holes uh, for the la last uh, one that I drilled down here here because uh, we don't want to trap the uh, the base uh, because we're going cross grain there so anyway then uh, I'll set it upright and then we'll attach the uh, other molding well there it is um, I've got the returns on the back for the bracket feet and there's a floating tenon in here um, which again will allow that back piece to to move so uh, we're done with this piece of molding I gotta sit it upright and then add the uh, the curved molding well the molding is on and uh, it came out pretty good so I spent uh, some time mitering it in the corners uh, and uh, fitting it and it's nailed and glued in the front uh, and it's just nailed in the back so about uh, the first six to eight inches is uh, glued in the front again not trying to trap the um, the molding or trap the side with the molding so um, we're done with the molding, so the next thing to do is to work on the bracket feet.